ஹலோ சார் ஹலோ
கல்வியில் உயர்ந்து நின்றோ கல்லூரியே I wish you a very good morning to all. I welcome you all to the seventh day of one week national level faculty development program on retrospection of Indian freedom movement. On behalf of Department of History, Kamaraj College, Tutukudi, I welcome you, welcome our dynamic principal, Dr. D. Naharajan, who is the motivator in enhancing our all efforts. I especially extend my warm welcome to resource person, Dr. D. A.B. James, Assistant Professor of History, Rajus College, Rajapalayam. I also welcome Dr. G. Prem Kumar, Associate Professor of History, Corporate Arts and Science College, Kannur, Kerala, who has come over here to deliver the valedictory address. In addition, I welcome the convener and organizing secretary and head of the department, Dr. A. Devaraj, and organizing committee member, Professor S. Supramanian, and our Superintendent Mr. P. Saranan and teaching and non teaching staff of our college for this faculty development program. Once again, I welcome you all. Satya Karaha has been designed as an effective substitute of violence, MK Gandhi. 
it's my privilege to invite dr d ab james assistant professor of history rajus college rajapalayam to deliver the lecture on stal satyagraha movement in tamil nadu an untold story welcome you sir thank you sir hello hello sir hello oh, sir it is audible sir, sir. hello audible irukku sir uh, is it audible sir yes sir okay sir thank you sir may I proceed sir yes, okay sir. okay <coughs> okay sir okay uh, good morning to everybody uh, first of all thanks my god for giving such opportunity next i convey my gratitude to the management a principal and department of history for giving the opportunity for share my ideas about the salt satyagraha movement in tamil nadu and untold story we were well aware about about the salt satyagraha movement in tamil nadu in today i am going to share some different angle about the salt satyagraha movement in tamil nadu here uh, today i am uh, convey to uh, my topic is based on an untold story that means uh, we already known about well aware about the vedaraniyam march but other than vedaraniyam various areas in tamil in coastal region of tamil nadu many satyagrahi movement was held that was not recorded or that was not much mentioned in the books of history the, uh, this is the first part of my talk second the second part uh, what are the counter measures of how the british suppressed the sal satyagraha in tamil nadu particularly madras presidency on the basis of the archaeological sources uh, i am going to share the events okay first of all okay before go to the i have just gave a, i want to just give a brief introduction about the salt tax in india okay we already know about the uh, battle of plassey and baksar fort baksar war after the uh, two major was the british established the monopoly in bengal presidency particularly trade and commerce in the initial in the, in the year 1765 the british established uh, control over the salt pans in the initial uh, the salt pans was occupied by the britishers and given to the contractors they have to produce the salt and they have to sell only to the british person in the year 1772 some modifications were made by lord warren hastings that means the sale of salt were under the company's control that means he established the monopoly over the salt trade okay further in 1780 he made some modification that modification was continued till 1947 that means the salt tax was existed in india till 1947 we uh, will to prevent the smuggling of salt from the coastal regions to inter interior parts of india they uh, built a great fence or the great hedge the nearly near from bengal to uh, in orissa to punjab nearly 2000 miles long it was uh, controlled or it was maintained by nearly 12000 workers we already know that in the 1850s and rebellion after the 18th uh, 50s and rebellion the british company the east india company was sent in the uh, come in the company rules was transferred to the B direct crown administration at that time that means in the 1815 the total land tax nearly 10% of revenue from the salt in the in the year uh, 1970 lord lytton uh, introduced another that another term um, another modification that is uniform salt policy in the initial that means no protest then in the initial in the british in the indians accepted the salt tax but in the course of time that means the protest that means the salt tax was not bearable it is higher than the individual daily wages of the ordinary people as a result as we know about the fam various famines but in the bengal people first time faced the salt famine lack of salt that means that reduced their health okay and uh, the first protest in india uh, made by doctor uh, made by dada by nowroji against the british that means in the year 1880 okay later that in the year 1885 in the first indian national congress also <coughs> submit its first protest first uh, condemnation against the salt tax 
okay made that by this way gradually the people got aware about the salaries they wanted to change they wanted to reduce in the year 1888 a public meeting was held in qatar about to want, they demanded to uh, reduce the salt tax okay similar that um, in the year before uh, in the time in the year 1881 when gandhi was in south africa he wrote uh, on journal he write uh, he published a journal in south africa that is name as indian public opinion in this opinion journal also he stressed about he uh, demand and the british to need of the abolition of salt tax okay we already know that uh, in the year uh, 1930 gandhi made its famous gandhi march by this he said both air water and salt is the homeland it is it must must be free it must be able to access to the people okay next thing is uh, well, in the year we already know that there's a gone civil disobedience movement was started by salt tax this is the original is copy of the <coughs> tamnad arches about the gandhi's 11 points gandhi then the uh, placed in the 11 points demand to the lord edwin when and the lord edwin was not ready to accept this demand gandhi started the call satyagraha okay in the in this 11 points the fourth one is the salt tax okay why gandhi take the salt tax okay before when we go through the these points the pro, total prohibition of uh, intoxication reduce the ru- rupee value these are not suffered these are not affected by the people Okay, but the abolish the salt tax. The salt tax is the <coughs> salt is the one of the common product, even from rich to people, rich to poor. All people have consumed. So the Gandhi take the salt tax. Okay, it was much uh, suffered by the all section of people. So the uh, Gandhi take the salt tax. Okay, with this uh, brief introduction, I come to the point uh, events that were held in Tamil Nadu. Okay, first of all, I am going. To, I am, and my my topic is about the Soling and Alu Satyagraha. Okay, many of them uh, about about mostly we think that the Satyagraha was mostly held at Vedaranya, next to Vedaranya in Madras Marina Beach alone. But uh, in the year 1931, the British uh, government published on record on book that is called as uh, Civil Disobedience Movement 1930-31. it is consist of the various reports of the district magistrates the book in the report consists nearly 186 pages the civil disobedience movement in the movement 1930 31 it was published by the government of madras okay why uh, start with the solving in alumin in this 186 pages more than 8 pages alone mention about the solving in alu satyagraha Solinganalu is a well known place in Madras it is uh, located in the east coast road it is famous for the it <coughs> it and uh, most of the uh, prominent industries uh, it, uh, were in solinganalu but the uh, even which was held in the solinganalu was not mentioned in most of the record books but uh, actually in the solinganalu satyagraha was conducted by uh, sangara ayer and swami sanmukhananda why this was conducted who was the supporter actually the t prakash before uh, the t uh, prakash was the <coughs> famous person in uh, madras he is uh, separately conducted salt satyagraha in madras in marina beach okay i mean before can when after the dandi march gandhi gave an open talk to the all persons to um to conduct similar satyagraha in the in their respective areas but in the, the congress leaders pre prakasam and rajaji they have no, no common opinion so that they conduct as different op- uh, satyagraha in the various areas okay in soling now it was supported by pre prakasam okay in the, before actually this was the first even in madras presidency or in tamil nadu before actually the date was connection was 17th april they started a process of amendments under the leadership of ayer and swami sanmananda they made a process of madras to soling and all in the they first started, made a pants at soman jiri it is a coastal village they dig a four pants then they dig a four pit and collect the salt water and the sea water 
by and they try to evaporate the water by using by the sun but it was not admitted by the police that is the police as well as the salt films made disturbance okay as a result they i mean the, the efforts was not uh, for given by the, uh, was not abandoned by the satyagrahis uh, they again they started they continued till the end of the month in the uh, in 23rd april 1930 that situation became was uh, the surrounding people that means the people who were working in and around also supported them on the hearing this even the village municipal also resigned his post but he was not his resignation was not accepted by the government authorities <coughs> in but in the year, uh, in the month of april in the camp was dissolved on the camp was dissolved by the police by violence activities we think that the um, salti raha in in tamil nadu was conducted only by non violent but in solinganolu it was conducted by it was ended with violence that means by due to the police activities one person was died and two persons were injured next one is sembian satyagraha so the first event was conducted by, by the salt satyagrahis the second event the sa- it was in this location also this the sembian also located in the single pet district it was non political event that means the not it is not conducted by the politician but it was conducted by the labors the india and assam railway company was the start of the process <coughs> on hearing about the process the district authorities made an on 44 order that means no persons were not allowed to come out from the places even and the even the order was prohibited or uh, implemented they start the process and with the parts but there was no leader that means the kind uh, of workers were induced by the salsa teha they wanted to conduct the similar even but they had no idea no leader as a result they were it was not it was ended in failure the vengras bari uh, rao was the leader but they had no idea what to do or how to do that means uh, no uh, higher authorities how to lead the uh, meeting or lead the satyagraha as a hello hello i am audible sir yes, sir clear it sir okay okay thank you sir okay but and the workers was as a result of the police the workers was dispersed but the when the workers dispersed the leader only arrested leader and the prominent persons were allowed arrested by the bus and taken over by the bus but the workers who were stayed in the road uh, take stones and petal against the police that means even they have they were not the satyagraha movement was not conducted in, in uh, symbian but they have made uh, some violent activities against the police okay similar event was also conducted in the uh, kanjiburam chingalpur and saravid this areas okay next one is the famous marina beach satyagraha okay we know many of them well known about the marina beach marina beach is one of the <coughs> important tourist uh, tourist destination in Med- in madras but at the same time there was no, no uh, memorial or no identity about the salt satyagraha which was conducted by Ra- uh, t pragasam and nageshwara Ra in the marina beach okay the way it was uh, in the, it was not like the weather in, in the moment was ended in the violence okay in the initial uh, on 15th april 1930 nageshwar rao and t prakash made a march towards the high court beach towards the marina beach for which purpose to uh, to conduct salt satyagraha okay after the dandi march in the government made start the strict activities against the satyagrahis as a result the, the government declared that the procession was an unlawful assembly that means they were going against the law as well uh, okay and due to these activities he was arrested and his vehicle was him uh, was fined for rupees 500 okay then it was uh, highly uh, then it created a highly unrest in madras city okay and uh, after that in 21st april uh, the people of uh, the under the leadership of nageshwara they started a non violent movement that means they wanted to start the salt satyagraha movement in madras in 
Marina Beach. They used to carry the people, uh, various Congress people, <coughs> carry the parts in their shoulder and take processes to the Santom Beach. Nearly uh, 3,000 people were participated. It is the largest moment. It was that means the people by willingly, openly participated in this moment. On the uh, but the, the, the uh, event was dispersed by the police in the middle due to the uh, police violent action. The people in the procession was um, dissolved on the 27th uh, April uh, in the Marina Beach. There was a all party conference uh, against the police brutal attack against the Satyagrahis. Okay, in this place also, the Boko police again uh, used the uh, lati charges against these people. Moreover, in this, uh, even though they conducted the movement in very successfully, but the police dispersed. That means the police, uh, due to the police violent activities, it was handed in pain. Again, in uh, 5th May, Durka Bayamal and Kamala Devi also conducted the separate Satyagraha movement in Santom Beach without the assistance of men. That means after the Medina Beach, most of them were the more important leaders were arrested as a result. They gave the women's. Uh, so far, we discussed about the Satyagraha movement, which was held in the Sengal Bed district. Next, we are going to discuss about the, the events which was held at the North Arka district. So, in this event, uh, in North Arka district, the event was much, uh, kind of the leadership was uh, taken by Soma Sundaraya and Dure Samaya. In this uh, North Arka district, actually, and the most of the event are mainly centered over in Velur and Gudia. Okay, on the, the, the people uh, the in, <coughs> the in uh, uh, North Arka was divided into two groups. One group wanted to participate in Madras, another group wanted to participate in uh, Tanju district. So the and the, the, the leaders separate they divided the Satyagras into two groups and sent them to different areas. Meanwhile, um, look in this even the press also made a commendable role. In this in our North Carolina district, a journal for uh, Tamil Weekly published that is called Sugotan. It also supported the Satyagris who were willing to participate and they were they traveled to the Madras as well as to Tanjur. They openly write an article support of this event. This event, they were suppressed. Uh, and this uh, Samuel Weekly was fined, and the editor was arrested by the people, by the police authorities. Not only that, uh, further, no, the government and the district authorities implemented 144 order. That means no procession will not be allowed in future for Sal Satyaha or any other event. Next thing is. South Arkad Satyagraha. South Arkad in the events which are held in the South Arkad district. In South Arkad district, one of the famous person is Naina Pepule. He was, uh, he, in the initially, he was willing to take part in the Veda Rani much. So, for this purpose, he made a discussion with Rajaji, but Rajaji gave a solution to Naina Pepule. To connect similar movement in his area, so that as a uh, on basis uh, on the idea of Rajaji, he connect a similar movement in uh, South Orca district. From April 13 to April 11 to 13, he made a trial at the Chillai village. In the in the initially, he was no support from the people, but he made a different attempt. That means he take the sea water from the uh, Take the seawater and using the fire by burning the uh, by boiling the seawater, he tried to make a uh, salt. But in the initial, even the, his attempt was not succeeded because they they have no idea. They have not. They were not experts. So that as a result, they were their attempt was ended in failure. Further, whenever they tried to boil the seawater, the salt fumes uh, broke the pot or either. Uh, put the soil inside the pot by this way they disturb the movement so as a result they shifted the camp from uh, from Killai village to Devanam Patina. I mean this work uh, in this area he got a wonderful response from the people okay as a result many of the fisher folk also joined with them nearly nearby areas not only that uh, he first before common uh, contact the Satyagraha he expressed the need of the salt Satyagraha 
why we uh, we are conducting the salsa there what is the need of the salsa what is the part why uh, what about in the rules of the british against us uh, collecting the salsa as such many of the local people join with them okay. in the devanam patina the first many the fish folk also join with them and take part in the salsa there the first attempt that means many of them group we join and uh, make uh, try to boil the sea water but the first uh, in uh, first person success was the venugopa a student of this village not the, after the in the started to do to do campaign about the salt taxation the abolition of salt taxation it is unbearable so then the uh, people must join hands to the to the congress party in the non violently to fight against the salt again to for to abolish the salt tax next one is dindivanam uh, this also located in the north arcade district north arcade uh, district also one of the famous place okay uh, in dindivanam uh, in the uh, due to the inspiration of the naina people in naina people in uh, he travel nearby areas before conducting that he travel nearby the uh, areas to conduct similar movement okay as a, as a result a, a movement was started in 12th april 12 sorry 12th june 1930 they started a procession from uh, temple to the Uh, Elanchal Odek, the main the leaders of the Saranga Bandi and Govinda Raju tried to conduct the similar movement in this areas, but uh, they they start they move the but the police were suppressed. That means the police made a lathi charge against the people. In this even even the Naina people they already insisted the new movement must be conducted in a non-violent manner. But in this in Thindi Manam there, there was a uh, the non non-violent movement. became a violent moment that means there was a counter change that means the charge of people and the police against each other that means as in the in the initial very less number of people police were posted and due to the tense situation became very tense more people were more police person were come to the thindi one to commit the situation under the control as a result three persons were face injured and 74 persons were arrested under trial okay Being this way, even in the in Thindi Vanam, the movement was not succeeded, but the attempt was made by the people. But due to the violence, due to the uh, not uh, proper guidance, it was ended in failure. Next chain is uh, Sidambaram. In Sidambaram, a uh, similar event was conducted in 6th July 1930. the men by the group of people by the group of people uh, plan to uh, boil the sea water at dalji chowk it is a park in chidambaram uh, on uh, on 6th july a similar attempt was made by the on 9th july also but the, in the, in the not like the uh, marian ambition or not like the veda name the attempt was mostly not much succeeded May, but but um, the main reason was they have no leader they have little guidance from the higher from the tamil nadu state congress or uh, tamil nadu congress committee so even though in sidambaram uh, the, the university students that means anomaly university students also come forward to participate in this moment they, they conduct a similar moment in their various areas due to their knowledge due to the aspect their effort okay uh, is in and the south arc district that means uh, most of the areas the people all the in various areas they conducted demonstration against the salt law for which they means the salt law was an unlawful act it was it must be abolished it must be uh, dissolved at the earlier way earlier day next town is sorry The next one is Coimbatore district. We already know that Coimbatore is not a coastal district; it is a uh, inland district. So, we think uh, actually Salt Sathya was in the, in the Salt Sathya moment was a place was only suitable to the coastal region alone. But in Coimbatore district, the people of uh, Coimbatore people they are also personally willing to start the kind of similar movement in 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 this district, even though the movement was ended in failure. But their role was highly commendable okay due to the no uh, and the, so in the moment in kanthu district was conducted by swami nada sastri there was no prominent leader in uh, 
in Coimbatore, uh, Somina Sastri from Tiruchirampoli, a uh, travel to Coimbatore and want to uh, assess the need to conduct a similar movement in Coimbatore. Okay, we all know is Coimbatore is an industrial area. There is no saline salt or no nitrous salt. Okay, in another sense, in the, so preparing salt, satyraha or preparing salt in through from soil is impossible. But in the students, that means in the was not the uh, youths or not the uh, maybe any person, but the youths in the but the school going boys come forward to conduct the satyagraha. That means they we all know that it is not a coastal region. There was no nitrous soil, there no silent soil, but they take the salt from the home and put the salt in the public way and put the salt in the pot and boil the salt in the public places. That means they, by this way, they wanted to conduct the movement. That means where they, they, they said, we also are not a part of the movement. By this way, they take the kind of movement in going to this thing. The main reason, okay, uh, from 7th to, to 23rd May, uh, year 1930, many of the movements were conducted about uh, conducted for the South Satyarakha. But most of the movements were ended in failure because no leader, no coastal region, but <coughs> in this region, they conducted only and uh, they reading the proscribed books. That means uh, and many of the during the period, many of the books was proscribed by the British government. They uh, made, made a stage, create a stage, and read the proscribed books. And the uh, various events of the Salsadia in this, in the various region that was published by the uh, uh, people. But and uh, the reason, main reason for the failure of this movement of a poor grave economic condition. That means that most of the people were business people. They were not willing to lose the business. Okay. As no, second, there's no leader. Okay. When Rajaji come for uh, come to uh, when Rajaj went come to for uh, Tanju, uh, much many of the people gave more support. That means gave money to Sadar Rajaji. But at the same time, they were not able to connect the movement in Coimbatore because no leader and no silent story. Next thing is. Uh, Ma Madurai. Madurai also one of the hub of the salsa Satyagraha. Okay, in Madurai region, the, the, the movement was conducted by Baitina Ayer, Maulana Sahib. Okay, in the total number, in the, we already know that 100 Satyagrahis were participated in the Vedaraniya March, nearly, to, among the 100, nearly 18 persons were trained by Patabi Sitaramaya to take part in the Vedarani March, nearly well, 18 persons from, well, from Madurai region alone. Okay, in, in, in before, as a, as a part of the uh, Satyagraha, they publicly sold the uh, contraband salt, uh, for the weather and numbers. they collected money for to uh, for to the uh, satyagrahis who were take part in the satyagraha. Okay, Rajaji was arrested on second May and uh, for the take part in the salt satyagraha movement. He was the, the people of Madre observed the hatel. That means there was a all over strike in Madre region. Further, the, the we think that the weather and march was a single event. It was not a single event. You know, nearly four batches of uh, volunteers take part in the weather and march. In the fourth march, in the fourth batch, nearly 49 volunteers were uh, went from Madurai alone on 26 May 1930. In the last even the and the, the camp in the weather and march uh, camp was fully looted and uh, closed close by the police on 23rd, sorry, 29th May 1930. Even after no closing the camp, a team of Satyagres from under the leadership of TGV Karpasami take part, made a procession towards Vedarani. These people were arrested before entered the Vedarani. They all of them, these people, all of them were uh, impressed, all of them were sent to court for trial. In the court, the judge asked them, whatever each person, what was what is your name? He, all of them say, commonly say, our name, my name is with uh, one day mother. That means nearly uh, 29 uh, team of uh, 15 persons were arrested. All of them say, all of them they say their name was one day mother. By this way, they express their uh, uh, patriotism to in to uh, in in front of the judge. Next one is Tanilveli Satyagraha movement. Tanilveli 
Okay, I am very already known that Tutu Green one of the famous stall producing center. Tamil Nadu is the second largest salt production in the in, <coughs> in India, next to the uh, next to Gujarat. Very very salt fans were in Tutu Green district. Um, before. For the weather and much, Rajaji also made a tour to 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 Korean on 50 April or to collect money. In uh, when he visited to to Korean, the people of to to Korean gave nearly 400 rupees for to the Rajaji for the weather and much. Okay, in this to to Korean, uh, one of the famous person was J P Rods. Is what he was name was nearly forgotten, but um, he made it some of he made some efforts to conduct satyagraha in. to to korean uh, for this purpose he went to solo that means he actually he informed the authorities he went for solo for for the vacation but the real motive was to collect money and to collect persons for to conduct the satyagraha in bedarani not only in the in to to korean district many some of them were uh, ent- entrained at the uh, for to conduct or take part in the bedarani march but um, in to to korean even though there was a Vast area for to conduct the satyagraha salt. Vast area of salt fans, and but in the area in where to to Korean there was no leader. As a reason, but in this, uh, in the people of to to Korean conducted a similar moment in Overy to to Korean Thiruvai Gundam where followed. Then, but in various areas they conducted the moment, but most of the uh, moment or most of the attempt was ended in failure because whether they ever uh, before the, the, the meeting was. But the moment was ended be, be due to the malnutrition. There was no uh, no leader like Rajaji or Naina Thapale or uh, Thipra Gassan. There was no leader in Chennai. Really. So then the, the, the movement was ended in failure. The second reason was uh, the coastal people, the people who were the fishermen or the people who are living in the coastal regions, region where Muslims have no sympathy to the movement. They so that they have no idea to take part in the movement. Second, the third one is, and the salt pan contractors. The salt pan contractors who were only loyal to the government. That means all salt pan was contractors, and the, and the salt pan were liable, or they were fully supporters to the government. So they they completely neglected. They gave no support to the movement. As a result, even though there was the internal valley, or particularly in the two to green, the various attempt was made by the people, but. They have not succeeded, but they have the they try their level best. Next one is uh, Ramna district. In this area, it is Ramna district is a vast area. Uh, in the, it is one of the famous pilgrim center in Ram. <coughs> Rameshwaram is one of the famous pilgrim center. Okay. Um, the Tirchi is the hub of the important Congress leaders. We already know that we have in the previous uh, we discussed and uh, for the coming to Satyagraha, the people, the person from Tirchi alone went go went for uh, coming to take uh, Satyagraha. Similar that in Ramnan district also there was no leader. As a reason, the vacuum was filled by N S Narayan Swami Iyer from Tirchi. He And the, the purpose of the visit was the local leaders. The local Congress leader were not much interested to conduct the satyagraha. So the director gave inspiration to the people. And then the NS Narayana Swami from uh, from Tiruchinappalli made a visit to the Rameshwaram. And their plan was to conduct the satyagraha at Rameshwaram. Okay. On this purpose, they, on 26th May, they planned to conduct the satyagraha at Rameshwaram. But Um, the leader, the leader of the moment, uh, who gave idea, the Ramasamy Iyengar was arrested before the execution. So that as a result, the plan was ended in failure. So as no leader, no execution. That means that as a result, no without leader, the world and this could not uh, conduct the moment. Similar like the current district in Ramnad, uh, particularly Rameshram, also imp- important pilgrimage center. The, the even the merchants, when the reason for failure was one is. Arrest of the leader. Second thing is so there no uh, leadership in, in Ramnad district. And third one is the merchants were not willing to lose their business. That means the merchants was not willing to make the town as a battlefield. If the unrest created in Rameshwaram, it would affect their business. So that they were not interested to conduct the 
Satyagraha in Ramayana. But even though the more important towns, particularly uh, uh, Devakote, Karakudi, Rajapadam, Sathur, Vrindavan, places of unrest. That means the people of uh, create some uh, disturbance to the uh, government or to condemn or uh, they for collector from toward for the Satyagraha. In among the hundred Satyagrahis from Rajabalam alone, the, the six Satyagrahis were participated from uh, from Madurai region. Mainly eighteen persons were participated in the weather and much, but in uh, in the from Rajabalam town alone, six Satyagrahis were participated. These were the major events. This uh, as uh, so other than the weather and emotions, these were the may or minor satyagrahis movement which were conducted in Tamil Nadu region or in the coastal region of Tam coastal as well as non-coastal region of Tamil Nadu. Okay, next I'm going to then another near narrated topic that is uh, related to the weather and him. We already known about the weather and him salt satyagraha, so, so that I'm not uh, talk much about the weather and him or the events, but um, some of the new thoughts I, uh, here I want to share. Okay, why Rajaji choose Vedaranya? Okay, uh, in, after the Dandi March, the Tamil Nadu Congress Committee as well as the Andhra Pradesh Congress Committee wanted to connect a similar mode. They wanted to connect a common place. They, they wanted to connect the movement as a common one. But due to the uh, differences arose between Rajaji and Prakasan, they connected separate movement in separate areas. So that, um, with the support of the Andhra people, uh, T. Prakasan conducted the South Satyagraha in Marina Beach and Rajaji conducted the Vedaranyam. Okay, now let's discuss why Rajaji choose Vedaranyam. Okay, there was various stones in the coastal region. Instead of, uh, why Rajaji uh, leave out other towns and why, what was the reason Rajaji choose Vedaranyam? Okay, in the initial, uh, Rajaji planned to conduct the Satyagraha movement in uh, Kanyakumari, but at that time Kanyakumari was under the uh, control of Thiruvangur state. That means it is a neighboring state. Okay, so that he will over the Kanyakumari. Next, he chose the weather. Or then there was some other reasons here I pasted that. Oh, uh, in the year 1927, the prominent leaders Srinivas Ayanga, Rangasam Ayanga, uh, Muthusami Mudalia discussed the future plan of the Indian National Congress at Vedaraniyam. Okay, they are acting the for not they at that time they had no idea about the satyagraha but they it was they were in vedar any they take the discussion at for the uh, future development of the congress and in the year 1929 tamil nadu province congress committee meeting was held under sardar vallabhai patan he uh, and mother Ma Desa, the both leaders can take part in the tamil nadu province congress committee the meeting was held at so by this way, it is a second important. And in the Vellur Congress session, Vellur Congress session made a res passed a resolution for to contain and uh, in the Vellur uh, Congress session, Sadhava Veda Ratna made a proposal that to conduct the Satya in Veda Raniyam because he had own salt plants in Veda Raniyam. Uh, another thing is Rajaji personally also willing to conduct the Satyagraha in Vedare because it was a strong hold for the Indian National Congress people. So with the support of the local people, he thinks that he made the movement will be successful. And another thing, next in Tamil Nadu, Vedaranim and Tutukarin were the prominent places for the salt pans. Okay. Um, by the so that in um, instead of Tutukarin, Vedaran due to the above reason, if we uh, if we conduct the weather, conduct the satyagraha at weather, it will be more reach. It will be reached to the people. Okay. And uh, next thing is, uh, what are the, the list of participants from the various regions? So Rajaji initial uh, plan to uh, Raja, before conduct the weather, animals, Rajaji toured various places in the uh, Tamil uh, province, Tamil Nadu state. Uh, by he collected various topics. You know, after the stimulus, after uh, near more many application was come to that after uh, rectifying that he list out the people nearly 100 people but in the course of time on, on the travel two of them leave out from the process and nearly only 98 people were participated these are the list of of various home persons from the various regions the madre alone a mother city alone 18 and mother district 24 in ramna toll uh, among toll six percent from rajabalan alone
next thing is uh, this is the rjg root uh, salt marched per um, from they started from 13 on the 13th uh, april 1930 and reached vedar in him on 28th april 1930 these are the various uh, towns they crossed nearly they travel 150 miles nearly 230 kilometers nearly they travel 10 miles per day by this way they travel reach the distance in this place these are so the various places uh the, the rajaji and his other moms across them okay okay this is the various uh various committees formed by the rajaji for the salt this is the list of uh, uh, committees created by Raja. Nearly 15 committees created by Rajaji with 100 persons. That means they in daily they have to uh, they have to perform these duties. Uh, different committees and and the list of persons who were in this committee. Okay. Next thing is uh, daily schedule. This is the daily schedule for the secretaries who are take part in the salsa there. They have to wake up at 4 p.m. Uh, 4 a.m. p.m. to 10:30 p.m. They, they have the hectic schedule in the daily the then the, 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 the Sadhguru's have and the Rajaji and the Sadhya strictly adhere the time schedule. They cannot waste any time in every village. Whenever they go to the village, they preach the Gandhian ideology and they clean the cherries. They join with the people and they, in the evening they made a public meeting with the local people and they um, preach the uh, in. Uh, to preach the uh, abolition of the uh, intoxication and the people must be uh, river, removed from the intoxication and uh, our the next is destination each and everything was strictly followed by this by the schedule next thing is uh, another thing is there are we already know that rajaji was arrested on 30th april 1930 uh, here I want to share what are the events held uh, from early morning to evening. Okay, uh, and the weather animals actually ended on 30th April. They started from uh, weather anim on uh, sorry, started from Turchi on 13th April and reached weather anim on 20th April. Uh, 29th, they start spend the day with prayer on that day. That means one day before uh, on 29th April, Raja said, On tomorrow morning, I am going to bake the sakla. But he did not mention the place and did not mention the time, but he said only the day. Then on 30th April, I am going to break the salt law. Okay. On that day, Rajaji chose 16 persons. Nearly 98 persons, 98 satyagras there. Rajaji chose 60, sorry, 16 satyagrahis. Actually, in the previous slide, we think that the actual routine work is they have to wake up at 4 p.m. But on 30th only, he changed the schedule. That means Rajaji and the Sitya, 16 Satyakis wake up one hour early. That means they, they wake up at the 3 p.m., sorry, 3 a.m. <coughs> and pray. They conduct the prayer. And on 4 p.m., they depart from the Augustian Pali camp. Augustian Pali salt camp. Okay, it was under the control of Sada Veda Ratna. On uh, he traveled nearly two miles or 3.2 kilometers from from the camp and reached Eden Teva Swal Sam at 5 p.m. Sorry, 5 a.m. He spent nearly one hour and at 6 a.m. He loudly raised voices. Said he collected the counterpoint sun. They on be um, why I am saying that on before uh, Rajaji mentioned that uh, on 30th April he was going to uh, break the salt law, but uh, so that to prevent his activities, the police were posted in each and every area. But uh, Rajaji in the area was new to Rajaji, uh, the area so that he collected two, he met two additional persons who are workers in the Vedarasada Vedaratanam Swalsan. His name was Marimuthu. Uh, Rangaratana Desiga, who these two persons were the workers of the Sardar Veda Ratana, like Salt Camp, Salt Swan. These two persons lead the uh, 16 persons to the Eden Thibu Salt Swan and help Rajaji and the other persons to collect the salt. Okay, in 6.30, the police act, after when Rajaji made a loud voice, that was only one police who were near the 
understanding uh, at a particular distance we come and see this uh, raja is saw that raja ji had collected the sal he after he <coughs> informed the higher authorities the police arrested under at 6:30 am under uh, madras sal act of section 74 of madras sal on 7 am morning 7 am he was imprisoned uh, in the at the agastyam police salt department office not directly to the prison and the, uh, in the trial was conducted by at 11 pm at by punu swami pal in the sub magistrate of the uh, tanju district at 4 pm he was uh, by train he was shifted to tirchinopoli and then to the bellary jail okay um, next one is whether any after raja ji the weather any not and other camp not like the other camp weather any was not a single team weather any was conducted by four times the one uh, from the first camp and the first batch was led by uh, raja ji on 30th april 1930 and second batch on 14th april and third batch 18th and final batch was on 26th may 1930 uh, in the on 29th may the camp was looted or the camp was the in the camp was fire the camp was closed by the police after raja ji and when raja ji was arrested he gave, gave the post to the gave the authorities to sandana sandana was the next leader to conduct the satyagraha following the uh, sa, sa, <coughs> sandana various leaders conducted the movement in the successful way next one is i am going uh, what are the suppressive measures taken by the government against uh, satyagraha mostly we think that in the book we did after the satyagraha the vita in the book uh, most of the book mentioned the, the satyagraha is in the government suppressed the satyagraha by uh, next and the first round table conference on the delhi pact and then second round table conference but in the, what are the measures what are the steps taken by the a uh, government against the satyagrahis was not much mentioned in the books here i want some of the tips uh, what are the messages how how they suppress the uh, satyagraha movement in tamil nadu okay first thing is convicting or arresting the prominent leaders without the leader no no even will be heard okay as a, after the arrest of raja ji after the arrest of the prominent leaders gradually the even was come under the control okay in the way in some places the police used the gunfire particularly in in uh, soling and olur and some other areas areas may people uh, police use the gunfire or by shooting the non violent satyagraha they made the control and other they, they try to bring the control situation in the tantra then another is canceling the gun, cancel or not renew the gun licenses mostly in the gun licenses i have to be renewed in the december in the case of a person who are loyal to the congress or those person who are fight against the british government then the british government instructed that not renew the gun licenses another is meeting of the british supporters bested stalwarts what the main purpose was to inform the, the purpose of salt tax what was the main reason it was a it, it was a essential one okay this now another thing is manufacturing the salt became impossible that means by breaking the pot and by disturbing the satyagrahi it is one of the method another is there uh, promulgating the section of on 144 and terrorizing the public then by arresting or by disturbing then by this way they, they disturb the public another is intercepting the telegrams the telegrams which was passed by the uh, various congress people should be intercepted by the a uh, government authorities and the students of the parents all stood uh, threatened by the government because uh, in the south arkar this in the students also participated in the student uh, parents of the students were threatened by the police last one is counter propaganda the um, i uh, next is what i go much uh, uh, tell about what are the measures taken by the british party like counter propaganda Oh, what well, they they use various pamphlets they use various methods to suppress the movement 
uh, after, that means after the satyagraha movement the british what are the steps taken by the british authorities to suppress the movement uh, how to justify the salt tax now the steps taken by the british to justify the salt tax this is the memorial pillar uh, at tirchi and vedaran about the salt satyagraha movement only at tirchi and vedaran now i come to the second part uh, that is justification of salt tax i approve british rule that means again in the, in the british uh, used various methods against the uh, indians again particularly government uh, in madras to justify the salt law now i was that is about the pro british issue okay this is a uh, document which was avail it was avail in tamil nadu archives of chennai it is a, a list of question after the salt satyagraha movement the government has government prepared a question it consists nearly 59 question total 59 question the question number 34 to uh, 43 deals about the salt tax they have they raised the question towards the council well, what was the reason for the gandhi, uh, gandhi and his associates conducted such movement in the, in india it were in madras it will affect the situation it will affect the <coughs> it will affect the uh, uh, law and order okay. another one is important one reference from the indian literature we know well our about the indian ancient epic mahabharata and kaudilya it is so it is also a original document in the, from collector from tamil nadu archives in the, the british said that the salt tax was not innovated by the british government they said that the salt tax was as a very ancient one they had they said the reference about salt satya salt tax was in mahabharata as well as in arth shastra that they said we modify that means the salt tax was ancient one it is already exist in 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 india the british government in the salt tax was not innovated by the british government they we modified modified the situation as per the current scenario by okay what's the you purpose of the they said the in the salt we in the salt tax was already exist in india okay now when there was a question may be raised what is so far the people were not raised question against salt tax even when we go in the chola in in tamil nadu the chola also collected taxes in uh, maurya sorry uh, moguls also collected the taxes but so far the people quiet now so when uh, so far uh, the people keep quiet but then uh, during the british period why did the people raise voice against salt tax the reason was the salt tax was very high compared with the previous one so all the, the people uh, raised voice uh, uh, demand and the abolition of salt tax next one is easy. this is a question to the public first one is congress people and second is about the reference from the indian literature the third one is question Uh, justification what the first question is that what does the salt tax cost me they said the salt tax was very meager this is a question to the public each person and when the, the british use their stalwarts um, use their educated allies to take the idea to the public that means the, the british expected that their the stalwarts and the, the pro british people take the ideas to the public they said the star in the salt tax was not very high in the even the as a citizen of india we must pay tax if we didn't pay tax it will reduce the government income as well as the development by, by this way they use this ideology against the public next thing is uh, another one is it is a pamphlet public uh, after the sat satyagraha movement the government published nearly a set of seven pamphlets in madras or uh, the madras government okay it was translated in the four regional languages i have placed only one language the sat is in the it's tamil translation was pasted in the right side in this period that time uh, nearly some of uh, that name is the salt tax uh, is india's growing power the value of rupee uh, land revenue uh, revenue from drink and drugs and spinning and india's debt so nearly store a set of seven pamphlets were published okay. the purpose was you the people have to read the regional languages tamil telugu malayalam and kannada 
these four languages, this and the pamphlet was issued on the, uh, to the public. They have to read, they have to realize what was the syntax or what was the reality of the syntax. They have to understand that for this purpose, they use the uh, pamphlet. It is so, it is also available in the Tamil Nadu. Another is confidential uh, reports which was circulated among the uh, British people that is called uh, lines of propaganda and history of the subjects. It is also a uh, confidential report. It is the main purpose uh, was the salt divide. When we go through the line, then the, the, the British, what are the steps, what are the ways the British try to justify the salt tax. By the, the last one is another, this is also another pamphlet, another uh, document which was published by the British in 1930s. It was about the uh, brief history of salt tax, another, another pamphlet, another notice about the salt tax. These things was about the salt tax. By this way, the British government tried to justify, even though uh, the, that means the British take various to, uh, steps to uh, justify the salt tax in Madras presidency, yeah, but the efforts was mostly in, in failure. Okay. The last one is here yeah, the sum of the press. That means uh, we think that the all press was in, in favor of the Gandhian uh, ideology, Gandhian movement, or uh, non-violent satire, but some of the press also supported the salt tax. I mean, uh, I'm going, what I'm going to do, not all press, some of the press, that means pro-British press also supported the salt tax and as well as the uh, right article against the satirical movement, which was uh, against the satirical movement, particularly whether any must, various press also uh, raised voice against the, uh, uh, various voice, so press also raised voice in favor of the British also. By the with this, I conclude this my session. Uh, once again, I thank you for the uh, Kamaraj College uh, History Department and the principal and the management for giving such an opportunity to share my ideas about the South Satyagraha, particularly in Tamil region. Thank you, sir. Hello. 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 Hello, sir. Uh, hello, sir. So my session is concluded, sir. Thank you, sir. Th thank you, sir. Welcome, sir. Dear participant, kindly raise your hand to ask your question and clarify it. Sir, one question. Uh, sir, so long, sir. Sir, what are the role played by the Justice Party in this movement, sir? So, just a minute, sir. Justice part at that time, Justice Party uh, supported the Congress, uh, supported the, the British, sir. They have no major role in this movement, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir.
சார் ஒன் மோர் கொஸ்டின் சார் ஆ ஓகே சார் ரைட் சொல்லுங்க சார் சார் வேதாரண்ய சத்தியகிரகம் சத்தியகிரகத்தில் சத்தியமூர்த்தி அவர்கள் நேரடியாக பங்கேற்றாரா அல்லது அதற்கான திட்டத்தை வகுத்து கொடுத்தாரா நேரடியாக பங்கேற்கல சார் கே சப்போர்ட் फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड சார் ஓகே சார் ஓகே थैंक यू சார் थैंक यू சார் ஓகே சார் வெல்கம் சார் participant can you ask me question sir one more question sir hey, yes sir sir in what way the salt satyagraha succeeded in what level it failed in sake of madras government yes sir uh, in success means and uh, it uh, it created an awareness to the people i mean sir, uh, the people after the satyagraha and the movement the uh, congress as well as the uh, important leaders gave reach to door to door and re, uh, said the importance uh, stressed the need to abolish the salt tax by this way they create an awareness but at the same time the in the gandhi irvin pact which was signed in uh, 1931 may sir march 5 it gave only concession to the people that means uh, the gandhi effort was not fully succeeded by this uh, gandhi irvin pact the coastal people only got some concession to collect salt tax for their purpose only not to sir so that uh, by in, another thing the address uh, government also uh, try to suppress the movement so then the movement was almost in failure thank you sir okay sir welcome sir what is your any question sir thank you sir oh, sir welcome sir thank you sir now i invite dr g prem kumar associate professor of history cooperative arts and science college kannur kerala to deliver the valedictory address for this faculty development program welcome you sir हेलो हेलो सर एक बार आ रहे हैं सर प्लीज सर प्रोसीड सर हेलो कैट कदा हां यस सर थैंक यू सर प्रोसीड कर ला सर ओके ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू स्टार्ट कर ला मां यस सर ओके सर ओके सर स्टार्ट कर ला मां कर ला मां ओके थैंक यू respected principal of the gamaraj college dr nagarajan sir organizing secretary dr a devaraj sir and 
uh, the management of the college, not teaching staff, teaching staff, and friends, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good morning to all. First of all, it. हेलो हेलो यस सर यस सर सर ओके 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 थैंक यू एक्सप्रेस माय ओके Uh, to back to to the organizers of this one week online national level fdv program for inviting me to give the valedictory address so uh, you, uh, the organizers have selected a topic for the fdv program uh, entitled uh, retrospection of indian freedom movement a good topic Actually, it covers uh, around four hundred years, uh, from sixteen hundred to nineteen forty-seven, three hundred and fifty years. So, let me uh, brief it as valedictory address. I don't like to enter into particular aspect, but only I give a picture and I conclude. So, as you all know, uh, Britain was ruled by. So uh, Queen Elizabeth uh, gave permission not to accompany through a charter on 1st December. From that year onwards, the British, with the permission of the emperors, they came to India, and the first India colony they settled in uh, Surat. Uh, Surat they settled. Later they established a Factory there, so the Indian companies uh, started in India from Surat. Then later, uh, as you all know, uh, first war, the British East India Company waged was the Battle of Plassey, in the year 1757. That was a hallmark in the history of India. Uh, Bengal area was. from was under the control of the uh, east india company uh, since 1857 after the battle of plassey then after the battle of batsar in the year 1754 uh, actually they entered into the administration a diarchy setup was established in the bengal area later 1881 the east india company uh, captured Uh, the more or less in the area of uh, India, and they started their own administration in the three places: the Madras Presidency, the Bombay Presidency, and the Calcutta Presidency. Uh, around 1800, East India Company had power in these three presidencies, and they introduced a new type of organization. in india we had uh, around 430 languages india had 
or the language around 430 languages uh, and also in, we had around 400 rulers who ruled india during the advent of the british but after the formation of the three presidencies either directly or indirectly india was ruled by the british uh, they united they either directly or indirectly uh, defeated the uh, 470 rulers and they established three presidencies and they, they introduced their own administration so the so in the on west the people who were uh, defeated or suppressed by the east india company they agitated against the british east india company around 1800 onwards it starts uh, in south india south india as you all know as far as south india is concerned pro uh, sadajian uh, says that there was a huge rebellion broke out in south india which is called as titled as south indian rebellion south indian rebellion uh, as you says there was a major rebellion uh, broke out in south india which is t- called as south indian rebellion marudu pandiyar veera pandiya kattapoman palasi raja and so on several uh, people agitated against the british india was directly controlled in the year 1958 the voice la da da cut out sir kekka mudiyada hello hello sir yes sir please continue sir okay thank you so on After 1858, Queen Victoria's proclamation, India was under the direct control of the British. professor dr ji prem kumar sir please continue sir sir if there is any technical issues hello sir yes sir continue sir oh, sir okay okay sir thank you uh, so uh, in india there was a new middle class emerged uh, which is uh, known as 
ഇന്റലിജൻഷ്യ ആർ എഡ്യൂക്കേറ്റഡ് എലൈറ്റ് ആർ ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ വി പ്രൗഡ്ലി കാണ്ട് മിഡിൽ ക്ലാസ് എ ന്യൂലി എമർജഡ് മിഡിൽ ക്ലാസ് എഞ്ചിനീയേഴ്സ് ലോയേഴ്സ് ആക്ച്വലിമിക് ക്രിറ്റിക്സ് ഇൻ പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ ലീഡേഴ്സ് സോ പ്ലീസ് to uh, uh, later it was in the year 1885 uh, a o hume uh, who established that uh, indian national congress to create a mutual understanding between the intelligentsia group and the british and states after that uh, 1885 after the emergence of indian national congress uh, the our national movement had three phases three phases of the development the first phase we called as the period of moderate the second phase we call as uh, the period of extremism uh, and and uh, the basis of uh, indian national movement or freedom struggle in india the period of moderate the period of the moderate under the leadership of gopal krishna gogale the period of extremists under the leadership of balajinder vartila and the third part uh, gandhian era around between 1989 uh, 1947 and finally uh, we have got independence the uh, work of it is said during the time of gandhian period uh, he followed a new tactics uh, no and satyagraha etc and uh, most of the people almost all people were joined under ഹലോ 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 സർ യെസ് സർ യെസ് സർ ഓക്കെ ഇന്ത്യ ഗോട്ട് ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻസ് ഓൺ ഓഗസ്റ്റ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ നയൻറ്റി ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ ആൻഡ് ആഫ്റ്റർ സെവൻറ്റി ഇയേഴ്സ് ഈസ് ഓവർ ഈവൻ ദോ വി ഹാവ് ഗോട്ട് ഫ്രീഡം 
uh, we have to face a lot of difficulties uh, uh, like the suppression of women then female infanticide then uh, as issues uh, minority issues and several issues are there uh, still we are facing in our nation so uh, i would like to conclude that is uh, the organizers have selected a good a wonderful topic for discussion for the past one week uh, and i congratulate all the uh, staff of the department uh, principal of the college management and organizers uh, who had conducted such a good program for the young college of south india once again i uh, uh, congratulate all the organizers for conducting this fdp program thank you sir thank you sir welcome now i invite dr devraj convener and organizing secretary to propose the vote of thanks welcome you sir good afternoon good afternoon to one and all in this auspicious occasion sincerely endorse the efforts of each and every one of their valuable presence through the zoom meet online the trust for the knowledge bring us the joy of success i personally overwhelmed with a spot of light through retrospection of indian freedom movement it is a prestigious to acknowledge the institution and department for the fullest success of this program the supreme art of a teacher to awaken the vision of knowledge the saying incomparably set with our most respected principal dr d nagarajan who enlightened us with the intelligence i would like to express my sincere gratitude to faculty members department of history all over india for his complete dedication and generous reception it is really indeed and made all the delegate and participants feel at home better than a thousand day of a delayed study is one day with a great teacher it is the proud of proud moment to thank the most intellectual professors scholars and resource person shower as with wide range exposure which hold us with continuity learn to be thankful for what you already have while pursue all that you want finally i convey my regards to the ansan heroes none other than the our college professors our college superintendent mr saravanan and his team fellow members professors participants students who enthusiastically bring out the new dimension of the program i hold heartedly once again thank you all thank you for your participation thank you very much thank you sir thank you participant for your kind participation your participant kindly submit the assessment form along with feedback no 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 dear participant for any queries and clarification send our mail id our department mail id
Boleh kan gitu ya?
வாழ்வில் ஏற்றம் தந்தவர் யாகம் வாழ்வில் ஏற்றம் தந்த